Okay. Mark 7 and 50, verse 15. I'm going to get down there. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. So this is what he was trying to tell them. So what people would do, he said, there is nothing from without a man, where he said, out. Mm -hmm. That enter into him can defile him. Nothing goes inside you do not defile you. This is what Jesus said. It don't defile you what go in you. If you like pork chop, now like pork chop, that don't mean it defile you. Come on, a lot of people turn or uh, what say, look at you because you like Tonic green. Mm -hmm. They don't like ton of green. They are ooh, you eat that old stuff. Mm -hmm. So they try to make you feel what? Bad, bad, bad about what you bad. said. Mm -hmm. See, but this is what Jesus trying to tell them. What go in you don't defile you. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. But the things will come out of him. Mm -hmm. So what come out of you what defile mm -hmm. you. It ain't what go in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are they that defiles a man. He tell you what you come out your out of you what defile you. It ain't what go in you. Mm -hmm. If you like chitlin, you love chitlin, you eat many chitlin, you are, I don't like them, but that don't defile you. Mm -hmm. That don't mean God love me no more. He love you. Mm -hmm. I don't eat them, you eat them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I want you to see what he's trying to show us, to hearken to me. Mm -hmm. When I say go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. 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 So and he gonna repeat. Let's go back to Matthew 15 and 11. He's still telling. So I want y'all to see something. 15, Matthew 15 and, and 11. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man. That but don't go into the mouth. He said, wait, why go? He didn't say that about the mouth. Right. And now he said himself about right. the right. mouth. Right. right. What go in the mouth? Don't defy you. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that which cometh out of the mouth, that defileth the man. So what come out your mouth would defy you. Mm -hmm. So you need to be cautious what you say out your mouth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. Come on. Amen. You can eat all the ton of green, cabbage, whatever you want to eat. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to bother you. Mm -hmm. But what come out of your mouth, that's what you account of. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So when we when we have thoughts in our mindset, I know we're supposed to cast down everything that mm -hmm. is on the self. But those don't defile us as long as it don't come, come out. Come out your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's what come out. Uh -huh. It ain't what come it's in you. Mm -hmm. It what's come uh -huh. out of you. Yeah. That's what defile you. So he's looking at your words that come out of your mouth. Come on. So we need to be called. You can talk, defile your mouth by talking about negative stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What come out. That's what defile you. That's what attack you. That's why he said, hearken to me. It ain't about what you eat. It's about what you say. Mm -hmm. He said your mouth. Mm -hmm. So we, what we said, you need to watch your mouth. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. You need to watch what you say yeah. out your mouth. Yeah. You can talk yourself out of your own blessing. Mm -hmm. You can talk yourself into sickness. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. You have to watch how you say, I'm so tired. But you already done talked yourself into tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. He's telling us to hearken. What we say out of, listen to me, hearken to me. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what to say, what not to say. It ain't what go in you, it's what come out you. So when you get mad, you know, you know, mm -hmm. break your mouth. There's a mouth walk here. Mm -hmm. Work your man. Mm. <laughs> Work your man. So, mm, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
That way he letting us know. I, that way, particularly now, over there he told one thing. He straight out said, your mouth. Your mouth. <laughs> he you telling you, your me. mouth will defile you. Yes. Yes. I experienced yes, that word a whole lot. I don't care about you. I don't care about Barbara. And I said, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Come out your mouth. See, what she said out of her mouth, it came from her heart. Yes. So you, we need to start paying attention to what folks say to us. Mm -hmm. We all, they ain't saying that. But yes. that's yes. in them. Yes. It's in their heart. Yes. It's gonna, it's gonna, I'm going to show y'all in the lesson. Yes. So we'll learn. I think we'll be more uh, what alert. We won't yeah. be so tricked so easy mm -hmm. about what people say. And you know, don't take it to heart to you, mm -hmm. but you know where the person yeah. at with you. Right. Yeah. That's why Jesus said, take heed. Yeah. Take heed. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Understand me. Mm -hmm. If you hear some, some somebody say out of their mouth and they say, oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to say yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. yes, so I, I, I want to show you. So this is what we we get to see. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we're not truly listening mm -hmm. and lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why Jesus said, hearken to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen to me. Because the heart talks. Mm -hmm. When it talks, it comes out of your mouth. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it come out like pressure. So now, I pay more attention to folk mouth. mouth. Mm -hmm. and I'm quick to hear mm -hmm. than slow to speak. Mm -hmm. Listen close. Because it's in their heart. Mm -hmm. Like, if you really pay attention, you most of the time know when somebody's lying to you. Like, I know when my older children are lying to me, no matter what they do, mm -hmm. I can normally tell if they are lying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you cut the, 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 my, the heart speak is what it feels. Mm -hmm. right. And if they, if, they, if they feel like lying to get them by, they are lying. Mm -hmm. and, you, and God will let you know that is a defile. Mm -hmm. Cause you be listening by the spirit, yeah. then you know it's the Bible. But we ain't you, brother. We ain't you, not sisters. Spirit. Yeah. 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 That's true. Mm -hmm. I know this is one verse. I don't know if she could read it. My First John two twenty, where it says, um, it says, but you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. Mm -hmm. I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it. And that no lie is of the truth. So that's what we know the truth. Yeah, we don't we don't, we're not sensitive to the truth. That's why he said hearken to me. So you 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 will know more what what's come to a person what's coming out of their heart. Not out of their mouth. Yeah, it's the heart talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today I seen a, a social, I guess you would call it, but it wasn't too much as friends. And I knew her lifestyle and my lifestyle because we used to get our stuff together. And I seen her, she was driving this little pretty new car, mm -hmm. you know. And I don't know if it was jealousy or envy, so I prayed for both of them to be away from me. It happened, it was, I don't know which one it was, but it was between them two, I know, because I'm like, are you serious? And I'm struggling to get a house. And she's like, hee hee, this is me. And then I thought about, even with her using and stuff, I would pick her up and stuff, and she'd see me on a bus stop. That was in her heart. And you wouldn't even stop and pick me up. To, or even ask me, was could I take you somewhere or something? Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. The Lord showed me the difference. And yeah, she got a new car, but she don't know what to do with it. With your old car, you use your heart. Mm -hmm. and, and you listen to me. And you picked her up with her using everything, putting yourself in jeopardy. You know, so Amen. I don't know. I, I, I had to kind of cast it down because I thought it was jealousy and envy. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, Lord, how they, you know, yeah. that type of attitude. I didn't mm -hmm. want that mess up in here. Yeah, because you had to, you had to, I, I came to, I was listening to um, 
I'm, I'm going to show you something. There are two seeds. That's the spirit of God, then also the adversary of the world. Mm -hmm. He said the wheat and tares shall grow up together. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to put it like this. Although she might have a new car, see, the, uh, the, the, the enemy also gives too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's always something behind yeah. that gift yeah. that will cause her to have to pay up after a while. Mm -hmm. The Bible said the blessing of the Lord make it rich. And he has no sorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's no sorrow to what you got. Mm -hmm. But if she, if the adversary opened the way for her to get that, that don't mean it's That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of things people get um, and they think it's a blessing. It's not a blessing. Mm -hmm. They can't afford it or yeah, it whatever. So yeah. if she's a using, she still using. Still using right now, but, I'm but I'm just saying, if I'm not saying she, I'm saying if somewhere, if it's not tainted to righteousness, and if her heart is the wrong way, it don't mean that they're doing drugs. Mm -hmm. If her heart not right, that don't mean it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or I have one friend, he bought a house, but he's having to work two jobs. Mm -hmm. And he said that was a blessing. And I'm like, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not a blessing. Mm -hmm. When you you struggling to keep keep something, mm -hmm. it's not a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle. struggle. Right. <laughs> so you that's why I tell people you have to look at people and what they get. Mm -hmm. And watch how how they go through things to keep it. Mm -hmm. And you realize, like, uh, I still believe what Scripture says: the blessings of the Lord make it rich, and He adds no sorrow. Mm -hmm. So anything God bless you with you, He don't add sorrow Psalm. to. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So it's not. So we need to what? Watch our no. mouth. No. Take care of your mouth. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hey, Holy Ghost. Just like you go to the dentist and he tell you to walk and, mm -hmm. and that's what you <laughs> and you do with your mouth. Mouth. Amen. Amen. With the Lord, keep your mouth clean. Uh, with the word. Amen. You took it right out of my mouth. With the word, so you know, so you know who to pay attention to. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Acts 10. Start at verse 9 through 15. Let me show you something. How God, how God going to break this down to you. Start at 9. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the six hours. Mm -hmm. And he became very hungry and would have eaten. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance. Now, y'all remember the story about Peter. I God had to show Peter about what clean was and what clean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. See, th th today he's going to show you where you, where you need to know the difference of what's clean and what's unclean. Mm -hmm. And uh, so God is saying anything that he made is, is clean. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it's not tainted to what he created. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm it still go back to what I said for a vote. It's what come out of you. Mm -hmm. And see, this is what the, uh, the Pharisees strive. They had that tradition of that way and they bound the people mm -hmm. because of what they ate. The Jewish people do not eat pork. Mm -hmm. They don't eat pork at all. Mm -hmm. 